The poor side was alive with missing while the rest chatted and had a great time. Wine was looking at the moon with a horrified expression. She grabbed Jungkook's arm who was walking with a scowl on his face. What happened? He asked without glancing at her. I'm nervous. She mumbled tightening the grip around his arm. Jungkook opened his mouth to speak but a voice interrupted him. Look who is here. A guy in his late forties said approaching them. Nice to meet you Mr. Han. Same here by the way who is this gorgeous lady? Mr. Han said extending his hand towards Wan. Wan hesitantly released Jungkook's arm and stretched out her hand. Mr. Han placed a kiss on her knuckle. My wife, John Wan. He encircled his arm around her waist and pulled her closer. Wan looked at him surprisingly. This was the first time in three months of their marriage he addressed her with his first name. They barely talk and see each other, but since a few days Jungkook's behavior towards her has changed. I see possessive, isn't he? He playfully winked while Jungkook just rolled his eyes, tightening the grip around Wan. Wan felt butterflies releasing in the pit of her stomach, while her face flushed red. Well, when it comes to my wife, I can't help but be possessive. He sat staring at Wan affectionately who was a blushing mess. Mr. Han chuckled. It was fantastic chatting with you. I hope you have a fantastic time. Mr. Han had to put an end to that conversation as someone called him from behind. Jabu let out a sigh and walked towards the table. You must stick to me all the time. Here might be my enemies who would try to harm you. He whispered. He whispered into her ear due to the loud music while his lips pressed her ear lobe. Understood, he asked. Are all these people mafia? She asked looking around with blue eyes. Jacob nodded, not taking his eyes off her. Then why did you bring me here? She asked in a timid tone. Everyone should come with their partner. I should have brought some other girl if you are that scared. The missing went off while Wan shook her head vigorously. No, I'm not scared. He just nodded like a lie. Did you ever go to any of the parties with some other girl? She hesitantly asked. What if I say yes? He asked with a raised brow. Were you holding her the way you have held me? No. Wan's breath hissed at his sudden move. He pressed her more onto his chest while moving his face closer. Wan held his shirt in her face. What if I was holding her this close? Wan stared at him with a gape and then released his shirt and turned her face away. Let go of. She wriggled in his grip. Jungkook's words shattered her hope. Don't ever avert your gaze from me. He said firmly, grabbing her jaw and tilting her face towards him without caring about the people around them. I was just kidding. I have never touched a woman beside you, trust me. He whispered and pressed his forehead against her. Really? Her gaze softened. Junk nodded and pulled away. Hmm, I didn't know my innocent wife would be jealous, he said with a smirk. Everyone was looking at them with an admiring look. They were indeed the most beautiful couple. Wan opened her mouth to say something but the music was turned on while the dance floor was filled with couples. Let's dance, he said holding her hand. Wan was surprised to see his new side. Both of them walked towards the dance floor. Jungkook placed both his hand on her waist while Wan placed her hands on his shoulder. Both of them were swaying with the music. Wan lowered her head confused by his intense kiss. Jungkook pulled her closer. Wan gasped and wrapped her arms around his neck. You're incredibly gorgeous. I can't take my eyes off you. Wan looked at him. Do you like me? Her innocent question made him smile, but he was fast enough to mask it. I don't like you. She felt as if someone snatched away her breath. I. He stopped due to the sudden gestures and commotion. He took out his gun and sat down along with Wan in his arms. What is this? She asked in a quivering tone. Let's go from here. He dragged her behind the table. Don't come out of here. He said and was about to move out when he felt her soft hand gripping his wrist. Please don't go. She spoke in a barely audible voice. 
Sweet bitch, listen on her forehead while her body was trembling. I'm just here, don't be scared. He said and released his wrist from her clip. Jungkook, he was gone while she stared at the people yelling and shooting bullets. Her eyes traveled towards Jungkook, who just got shot on his shoulder. The blood oozed from his shoulder to his palm. Wine placed her both hands on her mouth and moved out of the table. Jungkook's gaze averted towards her. Wine go back, he yelled, seeing her standing and shedding tears. Jungkook called her again, but she was too numb to hear anything. It's been a few hours since Wine was lying unconscious. The doctor checked her and from what Jungkook told they administered her medication and said she would regain consciousness in a few hours. The doctor tended Jungkook's wound. Without wasting a second, Jungkook took her back home. Now he was recycling beside her, staring at her feet. Wine blinked her eyes and after a few moments she opened it wide. Wine, he anxiously said while well, Wine swiftly sat straight as the scene of the bullet passing through Jungkook's shoulder flashed before her eyes. Jungkook, she whispered with teary eyes, hey, why are you crying? He asked, rubbing her face. You got sure, she mumbled, looking at his left shoulder. I'm fine, I'm used to this. He said and wiped her face. I'm sorry, I didn't know you were aquaphobic, he said, embracing her and leaned on the headboard. It's so okay, don't be so. She spoke snuggling into his chest. Jungle closed his eyes, trailing his fingers in her hair. But you don't like me, she whispered and lifted her head. Jungle opened his eyes and smiled. Yes, I don't like you because I love you. He said, stroking her cheek with his thumb. Wine stared at him for a while and then smiled and hid her face in his chest. Do you love me? More than myself, she said over his chest. Jungkook cupped her face and tilted her head upward to look into her eyes. Don't avert your gaze from me when you blush. He muttered and leaned towards her lips. And seemed to stand still. The world around them faded as their lips finally met in a tender and electric kiss. The moment lingered there, heart beats in sync. Jungkook slid his hand under one's shirt. She gasped, feeling his cold fingers on her bare wrist. Jungkook entered his tongue in her mouth, exploring every inch with fervor. Eventually, they reluctantly pulled away Wine's face first while Jungkook pressed his forehead against her and stared at her, taking a sight of her flushed face.